passion fruit curd is the new go-to topping for pavlova. It's tart and sour with fluffy marshmallow-like meringue. We say yes, please. Tammy Stegel is here sharing the recipe for homemade pavlova with that passion fruit curd. And I stepped into the kitchen and you said, are you ready for? Amazingness. Amazingness, <laughs> to which I said, yes, please, this looks, I mean, to die for. It looks like what I'd order in a fancy restaurant. Yes, and it's actually really quite easy. I yeah. think because it's a little bit of a mystery, people think it's hard, uh -huh. but it's not hard. So I want to demystify that today. Okay, where should we start? The curd, the pavlova? So what? let's start with the pavlova. Yeah. Um, I pre-made it because it does take about 15, 20 minutes to mix. Mm -hmm. But what you do is you wipe your bowl clean with lemon juice, you add your eggs, your corn, your... Why lemon juice? To... Um, remove all the fat from the surface. So okay. eggs, egg whites will not whip if there's fat present. Oh. So you wipe it with lemon juice and it makes it squeaky clean. And uh -huh. then you add your cream of tartar, your vanilla, and your lemon juice. Okay. And you whip it until it's stiff. And your eggs. Like this. Uh -huh. And you can see how it's stiff. Yes. And then you draw a circle on a pan. Okay. And then flip it over so there's no ink. Uh -huh. And then I'll just show you really quick yes, how to shape that. And then what you'll do is you'll stick this in an oven at 265 degrees. Once it's poured, mm -hmm. yeah. And you will you run Did over here. Did anyone else notice that Tammy's KitchenAid and spatula match her passion fruit dessert? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well coordinated. <laughs> um, so what you do is you just put it all in the center and this will really puff up and spread when you're baking it. Okay. So you wanna make sure that you stay inside of that circle. Okay. And then you just shape it to the circle. Because we need to we need to give it kind of a base shape. It's gonna move and crack a little bit, but we right. wanna give it the actual foundation. And then you're gonna create a well. Oh, okay. And then this goes into the oven for 65 minutes. That is luxurious, that is lovely. And then after it comes out of the oven, you just turn the oven off, leave it in the oven for four hours or overnight. Four hours? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then it'll dry, it'll settle, and then you'll whip some whipped cream. And is it, I mean, you have to be careful. It's kind of brittle, right? It is brittle, but that's part of the texture uh -huh. because the inside is a bit chewy and a little bit marshmallowy. But it shouldn't stick if I've got it on that wax paper. It's gonna lift really easily. Yes. Okay. You still wanna peel it gently so it doesn't crack. It sure. is a little bit fragile. Sure. But then you'll fill it with whipped cream that's not too sweet because your pavlova has plenty of sweetness in it. Tell me this fluffiness, it is just, I'm so oh my <laughs> gosh, no, it's wonderful. I've it's, been, I just think it's the gonna, perfect summer I'm dessert. Stare. I'm just gonna stare mesmerized at this. Oh my goodness. Don't you think you would be the most impressive person on the block if you showed up with are us at dinner? Are you kidding? <laughs> like move over Martha, this is insane, but you are making it very doable so far. I mean, a little time consuming. We'll acknowledge. Okay, here comes the star of the show. Okay, this is passion fruit curd. Uh -huh. And passion fruit is a tropical fruit. It is grown in the US as well, in California. Uh, I couldn't find any fresh fruit, but if you can't find any fresh, don't worry, you can purchase frozen, frozen, usually at an Asian market. So you're using though real passion fruit, ideally? Yes. Wow. I prefer fresh always. Uh -huh. It does have the seeds, and I will post a recipe for the curd so that you can make the curd as well. Okay. But here's the fun part. If you want to grab those yeah. strawberries, yeah. You, bet. you just start plopping all oh the gosh. fun fruit on it. Oh my gosh, look how big these strawberries are too. This whole recipe is just deluxe. This whole dessert is deluxe. And I have little miniature ones. You can see right there to the <gasps> left of you. A mini pavlova. Yes, look isn't that fun? That. So same you, forming technique, just smaller size. Yep. And I put those in a Ziploc and just piped them on. I think it'd be fun for a girl's date, like a dinner. Yeah. Dinner if you outing. Put these out at a shower. Are you kidding me? Like that would be the event. This would. This and then just keeps getting better. Grab some mint. Where? Right oh. there to the left. Oh, stop. And we'll now put I'm some of that on. Fruit, fruit. Look, I'm pulling mint. And right then off just the throw stem. some green in. Look at this. And you oh slice gosh. it like you would slice a pie. Okay, and serve it with what? A spoon, a fork? How do we eat our pavlova? Just a fork, whatever. a spoon. Doesn't matter. Fingers, find, licking. Find a vehicle that will help <laughs> get it into your mouth. This is yeah. stunning. Start to finish, I mean, the four hours considered, you're kind of looking at a, a stagger throughout the day dessert commitment if, as far as time goes. Right, but this takes six eggs and the curd takes six eggs. So use the whites for the pavlova and the yolks for the curd. It's a perfect marriage. 
And that curd, I know the recipe will be on the website, but the, yes. the seeding is part of it. There's a technique to that as well. Right, so when you have fresh, I like to just scoop the fresh right directly on. Uh -huh. Um, but when I'm making the curd, I push it through a sieve and get the seeds out so that you're not crunching on those seeds. And how involved is curd? What kind of a commitment is that to it's make? It's super simple. Okay. The biggest involvement is just not walking away from it while you're stirring. Stay committed. Stay committed. Stay focused. If your husband or your children interrupt you, you can still push it through a sieve, <laughs> like a little fine mesh colander. Uh -huh to get any lumps out so you don't have scrambled eggs. Would you compare it to a pudding? Yeah. Like making of, a pudding? Yeah. Okay. A, a thin pudding a that's spreadable. Pudding. Wow, this is so. a dessert to aspire to. You have made it so doable and stepped it out so nicely for us. You've shared this recipe generously on our website, but yep. where can we get more wet recipes from you, Tammy? At Bite Me In Industries okay. on Instagram. So Bite Me Industries. Hard to forget. Hard to forget, and I'm sure this season is a fun time for you to be creating. So fun. I'm gonna be doing a lot of fresh produce all summer for the next 15 weeks. Okay, we'll look forward so. to that and link you to Tammy's website for more amazingness, as you True. said. More loveliness just like this. Nice job, thank yeah, you so much. Thank I, you. I'm gonna try this. This is gonna be my summer challenge. Okay, I'm gonna leave some here Oh for my you. gosh, even better.